Hey guys, welcome to SSU Tech. So see this side, and this is continuation of Power BI tutorial. So here, as we are going to discuss about the M language and data analysis expression, that is DAX. So basically, in the Power BI, we can use two languages. First is the M language, and second is the DAX language. So where we can use these? Let's go to on Power BI desktop, and we'll see in the practical. So here, I'm in the Power BI desktop, if we'll go on the transform data in the query editor, so inside the query editor, what language we can use? Here we can use the M language. So how we can see, so here go to on the dim address table and here as we can see the address line one. So what is our requirement? We want to add a one more column and on that column, we just want to fetch first five character from this address line one so how we can do that go to on the add column and here we can use the custom column so we have already discussed about this so directly go here and let's call that as first five character and here we need to specify that m language so in the M language, we will use the text dot start. So it will be act as left in the DAX or any another language like in SQL Server in Excel. So now we can start the bracket. After that, here we need to specify the column name. So that is address one. So address line one comma. Then how many characters we want? We want five characters. Now we can close the bracket after that we can click on ok so it will add one more column and it is having first five character from the address line one so this is the m language by which we have created this column now go to on the power bi desktop after loading this and where we can use the dax formula by which we can get first five character from the address line one so if we are in the Power BI desktop, not in the query editor, then our DAX formula will be help us. And if we'll have inside the query editor, then our M language formulas will help us to manipulate our existing data. So here we need to wait a few seconds until it will not be loaded. Now it is loaded. Here I gonna add one more page and here we can add the table so don't worry about this we'll see in the upcoming videos about the visualizations so make it bigger now go to on the address table and in the address table we have the address id address line one so we can drag and drop this address line one and here we can see the first five characters column so we can drag this and drop it here so here we can see it is having first five characters so we made this in the M language. Now go to on the DAX and we'll try to create one more column. So here we can see the data. So go to on the data view and here go to on the dim address. So we need to select that table and here we can see the address line one. So we need to create one more column in the Power BI desktop and that will have first five character. So here we can see add column option. So we can click on that. After that, it will add one more column. So this is our newly created column. And here we can call this as DAX first five character. In the DAX, it is very similar as we have formulas in the Excel or in the SQL Server. So we can directly use the left. After that, we can start the bracket. Then we can see the address line one. So this is address line one. We can select that one, then comma, then five, then close the bracket. And here we can see the commit. So we can click on the commit. So new column will be added and that will have only five characters from the starting. So go to on the report view. And here we can see we have this DAX first five character. So drag it and drop in the values. So here we can see we are having the same data as we seen in the query editor, same in the DAX formula. So it's up to you, either you can 
use the M language or you can use the DAX formula for creating such type of things. And I will also create a separate playlist for the DAX formulas. So where you will learn about the DAX formula in details. So don't worry for that. We'll create a separate list for that. And we'll try to add few important formulas in the M language on that playlist. So guys, as I have told you, we have a single Power BI and inside we can use two languages. First is M language, second is DAX. So guys, I hope you have understand where we can use the M language and where we can use the DAX. So thank you so much guys for watching this video. If you like this video, please subscribe our channel to get many more videos. Don't forget to press the bell icon to get the notification of our newly uploaded videos. Thank you so much guys.